today and today we're going to have a game of Formula One Grand Prix for the Atari ST and this will be my first ever game review on the system never played on Atari ST in my life um, I owned a Commodore Amiga back in the day and this was the first game I ever brought for my Commodore Amiga because that was the reason why I bought a Commodore Amiga was Formula One Grand Prix when I played it on my um, my mates back in the day, um, he had a Commodore Amiga, and when I saw this game back in the day, I had to get a Commodore Amiga. But we're not going to be talking about that. We're playing it on the Atari ST because I've already reviewed it on the Amiga, and I've also reviewed the PC version. So, all right, let's go to main menu. Has this got mouse support? I don't know. I don't know. We use keys. So I know. I know the Amiga version had mouse support, but I don't know nothing about the Atari ST emulator. I am absolutely brand new to the emulator. So, but I know this game pretty well, and the menu is pretty much the same. Um, so let's have a look at driver team selection. So this game was based on the 1991 Formula One season. So, but, but... We don't get the official names because this game wasn't licensed by... Um, I don't think we could use the f official names of the teams and drivers. But McPherson and McLaren, but all the colours are there. All the colours are there. But we can... It gives you the option to rename... Excuse me, to rename the drivers and teams. If you wanted to do that, you can. Um, so let's choose car 5 which is Williams so that Robert Davis would be um, Nigel Mansell um, so right so let's you, as I say you can edit the team name if you wanted to so basically we're just gonna we're gonna bother with that we we'll just put my name Right, so I'm selected to drive the Williams, or in this case the Puma. Right, choose another team. So what we've got, got to do now, because we've got it on two players, so now we want to deselect, deselect the first player. So deselect that. And you can have up to 35, as you can see, um, so there's no number 13 there if you notice. No car 13, but you can see all the other cars, and you can see it's up to 35, car 35. So all those, you can select all those players if you want to, and have, obviously you can't play at the same time, it's known as a hot seat. Um, it takes it in, You take it in turns to drive the car, and when you've done, the computer takes over the car. It was a really good system. This was an amazing game, written by Jeff Crammond excellent he's made some really good games back in the day like stunt car racer and i believe there's others but this one was amazing um right so we've done all the editing so let's um that's complete um driver select okay yes so a car number five right so it pretty much looks like the, the amiga version so it makes me think that this the Amiga this was ported to the Amiga. That's what I mean because the graphic I've had a test run of it and the graphically it looks this, pretty much the same. Um, right, so now we can um, we'll just do a non-championship race. And we'll go to we'll go to a good track actually. We'll this is the old Hockenheim circuit before they butchered it and made it into a crappy circuit. Now I've got to swap discs, bear with me. Right, I've swapped the disc. This, For some reason, you're only allowed to have up to two discs. It only supports two drives for some reason, where the Amiga supports four in its emulator. But I'm brand new to the ST, so I don't know nothing about the ST, to be honest with you. So I'm pretty much new to it. So we're going to race there. So 
I'm taking the keys. I'm well, they are. As I said, I've had a test run of this. So the keys are, are pretty much identical. All the key, all the buttons are identical to the Amiga version. So what we're going to be doing is racing with keyboard. Um, free practice qualifier. Free qualifier. It's just a race. That's what I used to do. We didn't bother with that qualifying and all that. We just so we'll be at the back of the grid. So we don't need to bother looking. So yeah, we'll definitely be at the back of the grid because we didn't qualify. On here. Well, I'm having seems to be problems with the recording for some reason. Right, I don't know what happened there. Something happened with the recording, I think, because it clock the timer just stopped. So I don't know. We'll start, I'll soon check. So we're racing at Ockenheim. If you push F1, which I usually do, um, it turns off the automatic brakes. Um, F2 turns on and off the oh the automatic gears, but I always leave that on. F3 is self writing if you spin. F4 is um, damage, which you, I've got that. Um, I've got the damage, so I can't get. So I can't get any damage. F5 is the racing line, and F6 will be the um, the select the suggested gear. So the computer suggests what gear you should be in, but we got it on automatic, so it doesn't matter. So the ST version, I've got no complaints about it. I say it plays pretty much like the Amiga version, except for the Amiga version it had better sounds. Obviously, it had a better sound chip. Oh, almost lost it there. Where the Amstrad, the Amstrad, I mean, the, the Atari ST had the 8 wire chip, which was the same as the Amstrad and many 8 bit computers like the Spectrum, the um, MSX, other computers. Whoa, whoa! Actually, I've got invin I'm invincible, so I can just smash into whatever I want. And I've been spun. Almost got spun, come on. Keys are AZ and um, common full stop. I always used the keys back in the day on the Amiga. But it plays pretty well. I I I like it. Oh, on the grass. Oh. I think I've got it on a short race, so ignore that. So if I do record with this ST, I've got to be careful because sometimes it just stops recording for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, he's got a damaged wing. Oh, so I'll be gaining. Oh, he's been spun off by that car in front. Oh no 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 I'm on the grass, I'm on the grass, I'm on the grass. Ooh. It's out the way. I mean, I used to play this a lot back in the day for the Amiga when I had it. A slipstream. Right, let's not. Let's do what I usually do was a demolition derby back in the day. Well, I could have done it and all. So I just shoot, basically used him, used the cars as brakes. 
<laughs> Me and my mates had a lot of fun playing this. A lot of fun. See who can knock out as many cars as you can. Something we used to play <laughs> when we played this. Oh, you get. Bastard, fuck off. I'm trying to rub wheels with me, the bastard. Alright, let's see if we can use him as a break. <laughs> oh. What's my position? Car park position 10. So this would be back in the day where you only got points for the first six places. And you can even do it with just the just the oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, I saved it. You can adjust it so you can have um, a full length Grand Prix if you want to do a full length Grand Prix. Um, half, you know, you can all do, do all sorts of things with this game, tweak it to how you want to play it, um, set the car up. I mean, for its day, it was pretty brilliant. Oh, 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 oh no! Fastest lap, Carlos Sainz Sanchez. So then there was a series of these games, on, but they only came out on the PC. Um, Grand Prix 2, then Grand Prix 3, and Grand Prix 4. And Grand Prix 2, when I played that, that was I thought this was good. And I played Grand Prix 2 on the PC. Yeah, that was just another level. Oh, oh no, I've spun! I've been past, no. So, I've got, I've got it on the short race, so I've got five laps. But, yeah, it's ST version is pretty good. I mean, it plays pretty much the same as the Amiga version. Oh. I think there is also a way, I know there was on the Amiga version, you can adjust it so you can turn off the backgrounds and make the game run a bit faster. But I can't remember what that was now. So I'm in the points now. All right, late on the brakes there. Oh, that was close. You can see, you can see the fourth, fifth place car. It looks like a Ferrari. Or whatever it's called in this. But we know it is a Ferrari. So So lap four or five, so got one more lap after this. Let's see if I can win this.
Look, see the cars in front. Just going, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I can still see him in the distance. Break. Oh, it's another Ferrari. Oh, fuck! Still in fifth place. Come on, We've got another lap after this. We can do this. Strain to see if we can pass him. Bastard! No! 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 Oh! Turn around! Turn around! Ah! Oh, shit! Come on! Oh, I've just lost a heap of time, and I've just been passed by the other Ferrari. Yeah, get out of my Oh. oh no, I'm on the grass again. Do a little bit of lawn mowing there. I'm a bit rusty at this now, I haven't played it for a while. I mean, I used to be really good at this game. Not brilliant, but I couldn't put it on the hardest level. Because I couldn't get on with the gears. But in this current style, I can at least use it without the brakes. That's all I could really use it. Sometimes we used to turn the damage off. We were saying, doing more of a serious race. Oh, it's my teammate! Damn. I feel I've knocked him out of the race. <laughs> All good fun, all good fun. So I'm in fourth place, so so it's the two McLarens and a Ferrari ahead of me. Well, I can see that car, I can see one, that's probably the Ferrari. go, I can see the Ferrari ahead, I might be able to get third. Oh, see the other cars ahead. Let's see if we can do that, I doubt it though, I think I'm too far back. Could have overtook him there. It's too easy, too early on the brakes there. Let's see if we can get into the slipstream. I can see the see two McLarens in front of me. Yeah, say that McLarens are the one that ones that won it in 1991 with Ayrton Senna. Or the late great Ayrton Senna, I should say. Oh no! On the grass, no. I've spun no. Raced by Kurt Lang. Oh, kept ahead of the Ferrari. So third. Bloody lost it right at the end. And I've got the far I've got the fastest lap considering I spun. Bloody hell, there's a lot of time to it there, not considering I spun the car. Yeah, so basically we've got to wait now for everyone to cross the line. Until it says race over. That's the only problem. Or you can do it another way.
but then if you go to accelerated time wait for everyone to um, cross the line I think it's done I'll just go is it done five laps completed Right, no, it's still we've still got to wait. There's not everyone's crossed the line yet. Oh yeah, now here we go. So I come third. So race, we don't. We, we know we come third, so we just go to continue. Um, do the race again. Yeah, so basically, got a lot of options on here. Non-championship race, we did championship season, game options. Let's have a look at the game options. Quite a lot of different race options. So you can tweak your game how you want it. Practice periods, qualifying periods, race distance. So we got it on 10%. You can adjust that. Uh, change the level, separate race and qualifying car setups. Then you can have all the same of the of the opponents 1999 91 level so you get the, the best teams of the best drivers are 91 and random the computer just randomizes it so there's a lot of options you can tweak and do all make this game how you want it really you can turn the animations on or off number turns in multiplayer so yeah it's all good Use mouse for menus. Oh, you can select the mouse. Okay. Right. Okay. So there's a lot of options in this game. It is a great game. The reason why I bought it for the Amiga because brilliant. Um. Right. I'm gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.